Hello, my name is Cadet Jackson, and welcome to my Offensive Operations Op Ward Brief. Situation. Elements of Ariana Forces conduct operations with an AL Wolverine. They are defending key communication nodes, mortar firing positions, and cache positions throughout the AO. Their goal is to seize and hold terrain while disrupting U.S. forces in the AO. The area of operations is AL Wolverine, Preston Province, West Virginia. Terrain may be unstable, including rolling steep hills with sharp rocks and abrupt drop-offs. Dense vegetation lines the mountainside, including briars, restricting movement and visibility. The average high temperature is 60 degrees with an average low of 42. Expect dry conditions for at least the next 5 to 7 days. Enemy Forces Ariana Forces operate in team and squad elements. Ariana Forces use roads as a major resupply routes and are known to emplace IEDs along highly trafficked areas. Their uniform consists of black clothing with OCP pattern trousers. Enemy Forces use small arms, 60mm mortars, and effective maneuverability and dispersion into two-man buddy teams. Most likely course of action is to defend key terrain and return fire when engaged. They also conduct multiple probing attacks of static positions, combined with possible indirect fire integration. The most deadly course of action includes reinforcement of platoon-sized quick reaction forces within 10 minutes of engagement. Friendly Forces U.S. forces currently execute offensive and defensive operations at the platoon level. Future operations at the company level, at the company level are expected if the tactical situation develops favorably and sustainment functions are possible across all AOs. Adjacent units include 2nd Platoon, which operates westward and adjacent to 1st Platoon, and 3rd Platoon, which operates northwest of 1st Platoon. Medevac, or dust-off assets, are general support for this mission. Availability is METTC dependent. The Mission Alpha Company 1st Platoon conducts an ambush with an AO Wolverine in vicinity of Objective Copperhead no later than 010930 April 2020 in order to eliminate enemy forces in the AO and set conditions for continued operations against Ariana forces. I say again, Alpha Company 1st Platoon conducts an ambush with an AO Wolverine in vicinity of Objective Copperhead no later than 01-0930, April 2020. In order to eliminate enemy forces in the AO and set conditions for continued operations against Ariana forces. Commander's intent is to protect civilian population and infrastructure, building popular support of U.S. forces. Degrade Ariana forces and influence in the AO to return governmental control to the host nation forces. Key tasks are killing or capturing Ariana forces and holding terrain in AO Wolverine while preserving a minimum of 85% of friendly forces for follow-on operations. The end state is the degradation of Ariana military forces and influence in the AO. Concept of the operation. First platoon conducts a point ambush at Objective Copperhead no later than 01-0930 April 2020 in order to disrupt Ariana forces from establishing a base of influence in AO Wolverine. Upon completion of the operation, 1st Platoon will prepare a defense at Objective Copperhead in order to hold terrain and deny freedom of maneuver to Ariana forces. First Platoon conducts a point ambush at Objective Copperhead in vicinity of Papa Delta 1613 Six one seven zero. I say again, in vicinity of Papa Delta, one six one three six one seven zero. First platoon will step off and leave the AA no later than zero six thirty and move to the first choice of an ORP. If this location is not advantageous to the platoon, the platoon will move to the secondary ORP location. Third squad will be the security. First squad will be the support, and second squad will be the assaulting element. The order of march will be third squad, the platoon sergeant, weapon squad, platoon leader, first squad, and finally second squad. 
The platoon sergeant will be placed at the casualty collection point along with the medic, and the PL will be with the assaulting element. The platoon will move in a wedge formation and traveling overwatch for 650 meters and generally north from the AA to the first ORP at which point the platoon will conduct a SILS halt before conducting the leader's recon of the ORP. If this ORP is not a good location and doesn't follow the general guidelines for the ORP, the platoon will proceed to the secondary ORP. Once the ORP is occupied, the PL will conduct a leader's recon of the objective. After returning from the leader's recon, the PL will begin in placing elements beginning with the security, then support, and finally assaulting elements. The weapon squad will break their gun teams off and be placed on either side of the supporting element. The ambush will be initiated by a claymore. Once the ambush begins, the platoon will have two minutes of continuous fire on the objective. After two minutes has elapsed, the assaulting element will begin successively bounding across the objective. The weapon squad leader will call the command of shift fire when the assaulting element begins bounding through the objective. After the assaulting element is about halfway through the objective, the weapon squad leader will call lift fire. This will be signaled by the weapon squad leader yelling the command and tossing blue smoke. Once the assaulting element reaches their limited advance, approximately 35 meters past the objective, the PL will call for special teams, beginning with EBW, then aid and litter, and finally demo. After all special teams have concluded, the platoon will begin preparing for follow-on defensive operations. The uniform for this operation will be ACUs, Flick, ACH, IPRO, Gloves, water source, and the ranger handbook. The reporting requirements are any friendly enemy or civilian casualties, any contact with Ariana forces larger than a squad, routes of ingress or egress utilized by Ariana forces, or known Ariana mortar positions or use of indirect fire by Ariana. I say again, the, record, the reporting requirements will be any friendly enemy or civilian casualties, any contact with Ariana forces larger than the squad, routes of ingress, egress utilized by Ariana forces, or known Ariana mortar positions, or use of indirect fire. Supply. Class 1 water resupply will be available at the AA. Class 5. Blank ammunition will be given to all soldiers before stepping off. And Class 8. CLS bags will be issued upon request. Medevac is also available upon request. Medevac requests require the standard 9-line medevac format. Tasks to subordinate units include 1st Squad selecting a primary EPW and secondary aid and litter teams, 2nd Squad selecting primary aid and litter and secondary EPW teams, 4th Squad will be responsible for both primary and secondary demo teams, The timeline will be as follows. At 010530 April 2020, they will issue the op board and conduct ambush slash special teams rehearsals, ensure all weapons are prepared for the operations, and first line leaders will conduct PCCs and report them up to the PL. At 0630, the platoon will step off from the AA and begin to travel toward the primary ORP. At 0745, a leader's recon of the ORP will be conducted and the ORP will be established. At 0815, they will conduct the leader's recon of the objective and emplace security elements. At 045, emplacement of the assault and support elements will begin. At 0930, the ambush will be initiated. At 0945, actions on the objective will be conducted. At 0950, they will begin preparing objective copperhead for defensive operations. The succession of command will be as follows. The platoon sergeant, the weapon squad leader, first squad leader, second squad leader, followed by the third squad leader. The points of contact will include Medivac Dust Off 93 on frequency 4550.
the platoon leader at Crazy Hawk 16 on frequency 4025, and the pl and the platoon sergeant at Crazy Hawk 17 on frequency 4025. This concludes the brief.